Beijing Northern capital, a city steeped in tradition. A place where history breathes through every corner. Welcome to Beijing. Oh my god. I came gosh. here to eat. Beijing is not known in China for food, but I will strongly disagree. Join me as I travel and eat across the Chinese capital, from Jiajiangmian to Lam Hot Pot. Street food from Mian Cha to Douzhe. Let's say the flavors of these items are interesting. And of course, the holy grail of Chinese cuisine, Peking duck. I had the privilege of interviewing the fifth generational master of this revered dish, whose culinary lineage traces back to the imperial court chefs of ancient China. For breakfast, we went for a Beijing classic, Baozi and Chao Gan. Chao Gan is translated to fried liver. The liver in this dish isn't fried and it's mixed in with intestine in a thick, savory broth and is traditionally paired with balsa. The pork buns were just dripping with juice, a brilliant way to start the morning. The chao gao is a unique dish, perhaps not for everyone, but I found it really heartwarming. For breakfast options, this is as traditional as it gets. Another classic breakfast hailing from Beijing is the infamous bowl of doujo, a fermented mung bean beverage usually paired with pickles and two round fritter like things called jiao quan. How does it taste? It tastes like a dirty cloth that's been sitting out there for days and when you bring it out and <laughs> the water comes out that's what it tastes like. I honestly don't know how the locals do it. It is without doubt the worst thing I've ever tasted in my life. I went for the experience, came out almost puking. This is the real Beijing. If you do try it, don't say I didn't warn you. Jiajiangmian, a staple Beijing cuisine, is a comforting and hearty bowl of noodles. The soul of the dish lies in its rich sauce. Pork mince simmered in bing sauce, creating a deep, savory flavor. Once mixed well, the noodles come to life, though I found the generous serving of vegetables a bit overwhelming. Despite this, the flavors are remarkable, salty, umami, and deeply satisfying. It's a must try dish for anyone visiting Beijing. Deep in the Hutong alleyways, we find another Beijing delicacy, Mian Cha, aka flower tea. Mian Cha has nothing to do with flour, nor does it have anything to do with tea which is a good thing, as flour mixed with tea sounds pretty rancid. Instead, Mian Cha is just millet porridge, topped with a layer of sesame paste and sesame seeds. Once again, I don't think this was for me either. The porridge just had hints of salt coming through. The sesame paste is rich and delicious, but too rich. However, I can guarantee you won't taste anything like this, so it's well worth a For try. For dinner, we enjoy lamb hot pot, a classic in Beijing. Typically, the broth is either light soup or just clear water. And in this case, it was simply clear water, allowing the freshness of the lamb to truly shine. The lamb should be hand cut, which you can tell because it doesn't fall off the plate. But the real star of the meal is the dipping sauce, a mix of sesame sauce, fermented tofu, and chive sauce. The combination might sound unusual, but the flavor explosion, salty, rich, and full of umami will surprise you. Mm. 
now for the main event, Peking Duck Fit for the Emperor. I had the privilege of interviewing the fifth generational master of this revered dish whose culinary lineage traces back to the imperial court chefs of ancient China, Mr. Zhang Li Chun. Walking in, the first thing you see is the wood oven in which they roast the ducks, then followed by a celebrity wall, foreign dignitaries, actors and so on. Ming 当年给慈禧太后做烤鸭就是这样做。We had an array of accompanying dishes, mustard duck web, duck liver, but let's be honest, we're here for the duck. The chef slices it table side, look at those silky smooth knife skills. That's 15 years of experience right there. The Mr. Zhang showed us how to eat it correctly. I'll just let the food do the talking for this part. Ah. Shandong,爱吃的程度怎么样,是吧?爱吃不爱吃。但是都要割的,冲开,吃。这样。把这儿,合上。嗯。哦。哎,这么一弄。哎。This might be the most beautiful bite I've ever put in my mouth. This is good. Might be. 100 out of 10. Once in a lifetime experience. I can't stress this enough.